Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So today we are going to discuss about how to uh, create a screenshot app using Python. Okay, so in generally in uh, Windows we use this uh, uh, snipping tool to take the screenshot, right, the selected area. So similar to this, we are going to build the same in Python, but uh, it's like complete screen. It will take a screenshot instead of selecting a particular area. Okay, so before getting into the topic, so if you want to uh, get all my Python videos, I have given my playlist link in the description box of this video. If you go to that link, you can see all my Python videos and I have shared my LinkedIn and Instagram URL in the description box. You can please follow and uh, or contact if you want to contact me you can do via that yeah let's get into the code so here i'm using two packages pi auto gui pi auto gui is basically used to control your mouse and keyboard and uh, kind of things so for that only pi auto gui is mainly used to control your mouse and keyboard and uh, tk inter is used to build a gui actually so now I'm going to build a GUI for taking the screenshot. So that's the reason I just integrated TK Enter. So uh, to build a one like a single app and uh, with GUI. Okay. So or else directly you can just write only the uh, screenshot piece of code and then you can run it from the command prompt and that will be fine. But I'm just adding a GUI for that. So now I'm creating an object for TK Enter as root and I'm creating a an canvas now. Canvas is like I'm creating the uh, frame the frame like this so this is this is what the output that you will get so this frame which i am building here so uh, tk dot canvas root comma with an height i'm specifying and canvas dot pack is we do have lot of widgets inside this piece inside this frame we used to have lot of widget you can see button is one widget like that i have another radio button or labels or text box so all these widgets should be uh, get arranged in a pack of uh, in in a pack under a frame which will be which has to be get allotted as a row or column so for that reason we always need to invoke the pack or else uh, whatever the widgets that you are using will not be visible if you are not using the pack method okay so now i'm writing and writing the code for taking the screenshot so i'm defining i'm creating a method and i'm creating an object my equal to pi auto gui dot screenshot so this is an inbuilt function that pi auto gui has and my dot save i'm just saving that screenshot file in the name of screen2.png i have already executed and you can see two files are there and now if i execute i will be getting one more screen2.png and then i will be getting a print message as saved now we have to create a button so we have to create this button take screenshot so i am creating my button equal to tk dot button text whatever uh, the name that you want on top of the button you can give and command is your method that you have written to take the screenshot that is your command and then your background color is green and then your foreground color of the text is white and then the font size is 10 now you have to create a window for this so so i'm creating a window for this particular button so which is height and width and the window equal to my button my button is a variable that you have created so now when you run this program so your code will start with this so the gui will be get started and when you click this take screenshot so this particular line is what showing you this button actually so when you click so it goes to my button so in my button it goes to the command take screenshot and take screenshot you have written your code okay so now i will just close this and i'm going to run it again okay so i'm gonna click this button Okay, so now you can see there is one more screen 2.png got created and we got the print messages saved. So if I open this, you can see my screenshot. Right, so we have the screenshot here. So this is what like means we didn't include any uh, uh, areas, I means the functionality to select a particular area. Instead, I'm just taking the whole screen actually. So we can even do that. We can do that also. Yeah, thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com. If you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. We do a lot of tech videos in two languages, English and Tamil. So thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com.